Good morning, guys. It's your favorite cutie, Mel, back again on my soap pot channel. You guys get another video. I just woke up. So, I've been wanting to film this video for a couple of days. I've been wanting to film this video for a couple of days, actually a week or so, because um, I got something in the mail. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, you guys know I was talking about how I wanted a face steamer. So, I went ahead and got one. And basically, today, this video is going to be a little bit of my skincare routine. Pretty much kind of all of my skin care routine and um yeah just showing you what i do i'm adding in the extra set that i normally would do at night um just for the sake of showing you guys what i do and because I'm, i don't think i did i do it yesterday i'm, I'm not sure that i did it yesterday i'm gonna put this little band on that i got from amazon it came with my face steamer i got this i think it was like 25 dollars the brand is Lano, Lano. So, this is a really easy thing to put together. Basically, it just has the top nozzle and um, plug it in. It's plugged in, and then you get this little cup and you add water into the top. And I'll show you. So, you just take off the top, just like twisting it to the right, lifting up. Very simple. Okay, put some water in. There might already be some water in here actually. So yeah, put too much water. You're not supposed to put too much in there. So it looks like you still have a lot of water in there. So I didn't need that, but that's what you would do. You would do that and then you snap it on the same way that you take it off, except for you put it on to the right and you move it to the left. So I'm going to turn it on, I press the on button, and what I do typically, I wait for the steam. <laughs> I'm, I was using this soap, but honestly I switched over to another, um, another soap. If I don't have it in here, it's because I thought I bought it, but I didn't. I have a little bit left, but I've been using black soap. I think I'm still going to use black soap or just like a simple soap like this. Um, I don't use any fancy like face uh, face wash. I like stuff that's just very simple for cleansers because I don't really need a whole lot. I just need something that's gonna get the job done. And um, typically, black soap does a good job and it's supposed to even your skin tone. So that's why I like to use it. And typically, depending on where you get it, it can be very like cost effective. Like I think I got this from Whole Foods. And I think this was just ten dollars. So you get a whole huge, you get a whole huge bottle. Um, and this particular brand is fair trade. So right now I'm just waiting for the steamer to go on. That's why we're just talking right now. But basically, what I'm gonna do when the steamer turns on is I'm gonna let my face steam for about three minutes, and then I'm going to start. Uh, adding soap into the mixture and I will be cleansing my face while it's steaming and by the sounds of it It sounds like it's about to get ready. So I'm going to move you guys a little bit closer and um, Do my routine Okay, you guys might not be able to see the steam if you can You're not supposed to be too close. So If you're too close to where you're gonna burn yourself, then just back up I'm gonna back you guys up too So I do this and sometimes, you know, you can put oils in here. Sometimes I'll put like some aloe vera. Um, if I had some essential oils, I'll probably put some lavender or something in here so I feel like it smells good. Or give me a little bit of aromatherapy. I'm just allowing the pores to open. And at one time I'm going to wet my hand just a little bit so that when I'm ready to start lathering, then I will. I love this part of my um, face routine. Um, I've noticed a difference. It really makes your pores a lot smaller and I feel like you just get a deeper clean. So typically I would do this step at night, but for the sake of the video, I want to show you guys early and just get the whole skin routine in as promised. And when I say routine, I know a lot of people make videos and they don't actually have a routine. They just make something up for YouTube. This is my actual routine. Like, I don't play about this. Only time I don't 
do my face routine is if I'm not at home, like if I end up spending the night somewhere else, then I might skip out on some of the steps, but even then I still at least wash and moisturize. So I bring my oil with me. If I feel like I might not come home, I usually at least bring my vitamin E oil or the place where I have, where I sleep, I use some type of oil to cleanse my face. So right now I'm just adding a little the cleanser. This also comes with a set of tools which you can use to remove little blackheads and stuff like that. It's a little far away at the moment, but basically I already have a kit like that, but it just gives you like little tools to um metal tools with circles on the ends and one um, that can like pop pimples and stuff like that so that you can more safely like get rid of the pus inside or you know the little hard things that are whiteheads you can just smooth the circle over the skin while steaming after your pores are already open and it will just glide up if you have to force it leave it there But yes, this, um, I, I think that this step is important. It also really helps me to clean my nose. I have a lot of, um, of pores. Well, everybody has a lot of pores in their nose. And that's like one of the most important places to clean your skin, I think, is like your, your nose and your chin. Because you have typically, if you have skin like me, you get a lot of white heads and stuff in your nose. And typically I would use my tool and run it over my nose and just clean out all the little um, buildup that happens here. Like typically like right on the tip and on the sides because if you don't, your pores are gonna stay big because they, they, they may not look like you have open pores, but really you just have like a lot of gunk in there that's not being cleaned out and your pores are going to be big. And I think over time, I'm not a skin expert, but I'm pretty sure that's why over time a lot of people get like really big pores that you can see visibly um, when you're standing next to them because, you know, they might not have taken the best care of their skin when they were younger. They weren't like clearing out the blackheads and stuff like that and you just get craters in your face. And that's something that if I can avoid, I don't want to say, like I said, I'm not a skin expert. I think that's the case for some people. Some people, I think it might just be hereditary. So please do not take that as an offense if you may have that problem. But I definitely think either way, steaming is going to help because it helps you to get whatever is basically holding space in your pores. And like I said, my problem, not my problem areas, but my favorite place to do that kind of thing is on my nose. And another reason why I'm not going to do that right now and show you guys what I do is because it's during the day. So I'm about to leave the house and that would just mean that my freaking pores would just be like so open right now. And I'd rather do those kind of things at night because... At night, after I get done and I put my oils on and all of that, I'm going to bed, so I'm not really going to be exposed to a whole lot of extra stuff, you know? So I will do this tonight because even as I'm like moisturizing, well not moisturizing, but cleansing my face, I can feel where I have some whiteheads that I could probably get out because if you feel your skin and you feel like a little hard bump, like right here I feel a hard bump, you might not be able to see it. But that's a whitehead, and that just means like there's like a little hard, uh, hard thing inside my skin that can come out. Cause to me, it's just like it shouldn't be in here, and it's just holding space inside my pores. So I want to get that out. Actually, I might show you guys. Uh, so. This is the toolkit that they gave me. I actually have another toolkit that's a little bit better. Um, I'll still use this one because it really doesn't matter, honestly. 
when I say better, I just mean like I have more tools in it. So it gave me more tools and the tools are just a little bit more, you know, different. But this is what I mean. So this is like a tool and it has a circle loop. And basically like if you just run it over where the bulb is, you can get it out. But I have to see it so sometimes they're not ready to come out, so sometimes this is unsuccessful. Okay. I don't feel like this area is ready, but better to hold it to It's hard to do this in the camera because I feel like I need to see it, so... Okay, this might gross you out, but see, there was a little um, nugget in my skin. Now it's gone. And I can continue to cleanse. And you know, it's okay to have, yeah. but tools like this is make it easy for you to just get them out so they don't stay there because You don't really remove them a lot of them stay in your skin because it's not like a protruding pimple or anything like that so if you're just watching your face normally and you're not looking for it you might not even know that you have a whitehead but ever since i got my kit like uh, a year ago if i noticed that i feel like i have one then i'm going to get it if i can if i have the time because right now i'm really sure we don't know that, but I'm gonna do it later because I felt like I had maybe two or three, but sometimes they're not ready. So if it's not ready, find me to leave it alone and continue your skincare. You don't have to like every single time to do your face skin routine, like get it all out. So my steamer, um, it only goes for 10 minutes, and uh, when it uh, can't, when I read the package, it says that you should only steam your face for 10 minutes at a time, and absolutely you can't even like just start your steamer back up so that's something to know about this steamer like once it's over for the 10 minutes you have to like let it sit and like unplug it and let it be for like however long before you start it back up so you can't do like double back to back um steams which kind of sucks because it's like what if you wanted to invite someone over and like share the steamer and this is one and one so i don't know there might be a better steamer if you could check and see that option like if you can continuously steam that probably be a good thing or if you're ordering this for work and work from home and do some type of spa treatment you might be able to get something better i just got something that i felt like was cute and cost effective and it's pretty much only for me so i wasn't really tripping either way so the steam should be coming to an end soon and what I'm gonna do is just rinse off my face, get all the soap off. I love cleansing while I'm steaming because I just feel like it's cleaning the skin so much better. And then after I rinse off, I'm gonna do a toner. Um, and then I'm gonna moisturize with my vitamin E oil. And because, you know, I'm gonna be leaving home right after this, after my vitamin E oil settles, then I am also going to put on a sunscreen. Yes, I wear sunscreen, and it's not because of I care about my skin getting darker. I wear sunscreen because it's good for your skin, and um, it's one of the harshest things that ages your skin, even whether you're black or not. Like, it just, you know, all types of things you can get. More freckles from being in the sun, which isn't a problem for most people, but for me, it's just more about trying to maintain the health of my skin. Um... So yeah, I put on sunscreen pretty much every day if I'm leaving in the house. If I don't put it on, it's literally because I'm just rushing and I'm being bummy and I just need to hurry up and get something and come back. But most times, even then, I try to just make sure that, you know, I do my skin, my skincare routine. And once again, the only other time I probably wouldn't wear my sunscreen is when I am... If I spend the night with somebody else's house and I just have to go the day without it. 
Um, another thing to mention, I use 100 plus sunscreen on my skin. I don't play with no 15 SPF, 12 SPF. That stuff doesn't do anything. If it isn't over 50, then I'm not going to be using it, at least for my face. I feel like it's different if you're using it for your skin. You might not be as strong, but, you know, 50, 35 probably would be for your just regular skin. But um, for my face routine every single day, I use 100 SPF or higher. Right now, I'm using Neutrogena until I uh, run out, but I'm also going to... I want to look for something that's a little more like, like maybe like a smaller brand to use for sunscreen. I really don't care which one it is as long as um, it's over 100 SPF um, because that's what I mostly care about. Or maybe I'll even get like a better sunscreen, just get a better sunscreen. I heard bad things about the brand Neutrogena in general. Like I as far as their makeup goes, so I just wonder if that transfers also into their other products, which is why I'm actually switching, but for right now it's doing the job and I've had it for a long time and I just care about, you know, my skin. So as you can see, it stopped, my skin is pretty moist, Ugh, feeling fresh. So right now I'm gonna watch you guys. So now, um, sorry, I had to move quick, I like to do it quick. I put on my toner. This is Instant Natural Vitamin C Toner. Um, it says reduces appearance of fine lines and dull dullness for all skin types with shade oil. And it says, I mean, MSM, lavender oil, geranium oil. They have different types of this toner. I like using it because this is the one that I bought and honestly I have it on subscription so I just let it be what it is, <laughs> at least for right now. So I let it dry a little bit because I don't want to just rub off my toner. And by the way, another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is at night, like I usually do like a warm, uh, kind of like a warm vibe because to rinse off because I want my pores not to close immediately until I get my toner in but it doesn't have to be hot it shouldn't be hot just like a little warm you know not to shock the face and then my last step you guys should know is vitamin E oil nature's bounty is my favorite brand because it's kind of thick like you can feel that it's an extra vitamin like how it is inside of those capsules and this is like the real deal some of those vitamin e oils on the market are like mixed with other things this is just vitamin e oil and it's thick it's hot I like it so you don't need a whole lot i like to rub especially in you know under my eyes Vitamin E can like keep your eyes from getting those dark circles and help fight those. And it also just helps also to reduce um, the, reduce aging. Cause it gets rid of the radicals in your skin. I like to do like my laugh ones and places where, you know, your face naturally creases. I like to get on the outsides of my eyes too. I just rub it in my eyelids. All of that stuff is important, guys. Your eyebrows, like, the center of your forehead. Pretty much everywhere. Your neck, the front and the back of your neck. I don't wash the back of my neck in my skincare, but I do wash the back of my neck in the shower. And then I also, you know, will make sure that that area is getting moisturized too. I like to think about, you know, doing preventative, you know, care because like when you think about when you age, it's not just your face. That's why I hate when people do their skin care routine and they neglect their neck. I did this one time at like, it was like a event for skincare and this girl was watching her skincare and when I was doing mine, I was washing my face and my neck and people were like laughing like, oh, you getting the whole thing? Yeah, because your neck is a part of like your face area. like. It's also a part of 
the skin that gets makeup like it should if you're doing it right you should be also doing your face and your neck so that you don't have like a lighter or darker face and then your neck is just like exposed but when you think about aging also that skin this skin a lot of that um is going to be wrinkly when you get old so you want to make sure you're also taking care of it and just making sure that it's healthy and it's moisturized and it's clean like please don't knit, please don't be one of those people who neglect like your neck anyways you guys i'm going to end the video here because i have to get ready i have to get out the door soon and um oh wait actually no i'm going to do my last step which is sunscreen So right now I use Neutrogena, I told you guys, a chill oil-free lotion sunscreen. It's a broad spectrum um, 110 SPF. So superior aging protection is water resistant for 80 minutes if you're going swimming. So I just do about this much, which is kind of a lot, but. For some reason, this kind of felt like, when it gets too close to my eyes, it makes me feel sleepy. So I try not to get it too close to my eyes. But it does if you are a person with brown skin darker skin it does leave like a little film but because i have oil it kind of like mixes in and it's not as bad but like you could probably still see that i have like a little film but regardless that's why I usually i put makeup over it but either way, I care about my skin being protected. So until they come out with some more black girl sunscreens that are like 100 SPF, this is what I'm gonna be using. Stuff like this. This gives you real deal protection. This keeps your skin from getting age spots. Um, it keeps your skin from getting those uh, as many little moles and stuff like that that you get as you age. So. Yeah, you guys, that's my skin care routine. If you liked what I did today or you have any questions, um, please leave me comments down below and make sure to always give me a huge thumbs up for the video and um, the consistency. Um, let me guys know what you think of my skin care routine. Share with me some of your skincare tips. I would love to know what you guys do to see if I want to add any of your tips to my routine. And this is how I pretty much maintain my face. I really don't get too much acne anyway um i'm blessing that way so i don't want to mislead anyone and think like you know that this is keeping me from getting tons of acne because template usually i usually only pretty much get hormonal acne unless like i just have not been taking care of my skin if i haven't been taking care of my skin and which i would never like going to bed with makeup and stuff like that then Obviously, I probably will be more prone to more break breakouts, but typically, I only get hormonal um, breakouts like near my period or a little bit before. So, yeah. But my belief is also like skincare, I would feel like is mostly, um, or your skin type is mostly genetic, but you can improve your skin by actually taking your routine seriously. Like if you wash your face twice a day, you moisturize twice a day, you tone uh, twice a day, and you know, you're doing your mask in between time, it is going to improve your skin. Where your energy goes, energy flows. So if you're taking care of your skin, you are gonna have better skin than if you are not. And if you're drinking water, obviously you will. And if you're eating healthy, that will also improve your skin. So those are my tips for the day, you guys. I'm gonna get out of here. As always, stay posh and stay cute. Bye.